At the time Tessier showed us the way, there was a wave of major excitement among myself and my friends, and we went on and, and e evolved the field of craniofacial surgery. And it was very exciting in the 70s and in the 80s, and many, many surgeons wanted to go into it, and, and, and plastic surgeons wanted to become craniofacial surgeons, and we all set up training programs, and, and, and it has become a major subspecialty recognized by ACGME, and we have specialized training programs. But because of the change in economics in the United States, uh, I've lived in a period of the golden era when I could make a living doing that kind of surgery. Today, most surgeons cannot make a living, and they, in order to support themselves, they have to do cosmetic surgery to support themselves and make up the difference. So fewer and fewer surgeons are interested today in craniofacial surgery. They're interested in making a good living and supporting their families. And so it's not such an exciting area as it used to be.